Hello everyone, Zephy here. Before I start off this video, I would like to quickly give you guys an explanation about my whole disappearance per se. Um, you see, the thing is, I had a lot of things in real life to make sure that I, well, not miss about, while well, most of them were university deadlines or my midterms basically a lot of things that i basically just could not skip at all which is why i had very very little free time to make videos and stuff i'm really sorry for not um well telling you guys that in advance to well you know not make you have to wait a long time before the next video which is not going to be coming until a month well, I am basically done with almost all of it, not all, but I do have a lot of free time on my hands right now, so I can make more videos for you guys to enjoy. Anyways, this video is going to be about 10 most underrated and usual effects for their look and how they are priced. They're, this is not really... 100% perfectly graded like obviously some of the places can be changed around if you so prefer but those are my opinions all right so those are 10 effects that i believe are some of the most underrated effects in the entire game for their looks and with that out of the way let us hop right into the video So, our first and usual of the day is going to be opening fire. Now, uh, the main reason why I put opening fire on this list is while this may not be the most flashy effect and may not be the most good looking effect in the eyes of most people, it is kind of a mini burning flames <laughs> sort of circling around your head. I think that's the same reason um, pyrofusion added it in his top 10 unusual effects list so yeah that's pretty neat and uh, one hat that in particular that stands out for me is the doctor's dapper topper with orbiting fire going for just 40 keys possibly lower if you're buying with pure so you can pick that one up for just 40 keys all classes orbiting fire really nice effect Opening fire is worth just 29.29 keys on unusual hats on average, which is absolutely insane, I think, for the effect you're actually getting for the price. Number 9 spots we have Velvet Plasma and Searing Plasma. I actually really enjoy the plasma effects by themselves because. Uh, in my opinion, they are really underrated first gen effects when compared to stuff like energy and flames. Well, obviously, not being on their level, I do think that it deserves to be higher in price than Haunted Ghosts. And they are worth 62.67 keys, and Tearing Plasma worth around 55.4. And those two, I believe, are very, very underrated first gen effects, especially when compared to the likes of Haunted Ghost, while obviously not being the same tier as st stuff like Energy and Flames, I still think that those two are very very nice looking first gen effects that are very much noticeable and don't blend in with the background too much. And for our example out of the day, um, Vivid Plasma Doctor's Dapatopa is going for just 60 keys, which is something you would expect from a nice first gen hat like that. And Searing Plasma is going for just 45, with unfortunately no sellers on the market as of right now. But hopefully, um, there will be one soon enough. Okay, so at number 8 spot we have Dead Presidents and Aces High, with them valuing at about 21.83 and 21.59 keys respectively on average. Now, the reason I put those two together 
I was mainly because they are two are basically the same effects with the first one just being money circling around your cactus head and aces high just having the same thing but with cards one thing that's nice about aces high is the fact that the cards are actually team colored so uh, that's kind of neat you basically gain two unusual effects for one <laughs> but the main reason why they are on this list is just because they are so dirt cheap and they are pretty damn not spelling game from what I can say. Uh, I, I, I've seen a fair share of Aces High and Dead Presidents and usual in my trading career. Those looked really damn good. Dead Presidents Dr. Dapper Topper is going for just 26 keys, which is really cheap for a nice good looking all glass hat with a pretty good effect, if I do say so myself. It's as high though, 40 keys, that's uh, on a little bit of a higher spectrum of the price, if I do say so myself. <laughs> At number 7 spot we have Starstorm Insomnia and Starstorm Slumber, straight out of 2016 Halloween update, going for around 59.8 keys on average on the Insomnia and 59.45 keys on average on the Slumber. Because they are Halloween 2016 effects, they are massively despised in the trading community, which I guess it kind of makes sense because there are so many unboxed of them. But if we're being honest here, the effects don't look that bad. Like seriously, they they look really freaking good. Like stars falling from the sky on your head. Please. I don't really want to provide any examples of Starstorm unusual hats because there are a lot of them that are just unpriced and a lot of them that are just not worth talking about but yeah they are really freaking cheap like really cheap at number six we have the confettis the green confetti and the purple confetti going for 37.11 and 41.35 keys on average respectively those are some of the cheapest first gens that look really good in game they are very very much noticeable from far away or close up, um, they are obviously not some of the flashiest effects in the game, but they are still kind of a little bit of chaotic with those confetti just flying around your character relentlessly. I, I, I really like the look of those effects. And the green confetti, Doctor's Dap Top, are going for just 35 keys. Which is about what I'd expect from a nice first gen all class hat. Purple confetti going for 50 keys, which is a little bit of the higher end of the spectrum, but still pretty nice. And coming in at number 5 spot, entering the top 5, we have Cloud9, priced at just about 41.47 keys on average. Cloud9 is a really, really good looking third gen effect for a very cheap price. At least when it comes to unusuals that are priced about the same. In my opinion, Cloud9 is one of the three third gen effects that are absolutely amazing but are despised just because they are third gen. Can you guess what they are? You probably can be because if, if you clicked on this video, you probably have some sort of idea about unusual effects. But yeah, Cloud9 is a very, very good um, soothing effect if it if that does make any sort of sense and I don't know it there's something about it that is just very very appealing to the eye uh, now that's obviously not an effect for everyone like I don't know I don't like the look of the hearts because I know I there are not a lot of cosmetic sets that I guess they would fit in but as an effect by itself it is absolutely gorgeous Cloud9 modest pile of hat is going for just under 55 keys, which is absolutely amazing for the effect you're getting and the hat. Coming in at number 4, we have Stormy Storm and Blizzardy Storm, priced at about 32.23 and 37.63 keys on average on both. They, these two are absolutely great looking effects 
they are very very much appealing to the eye and they are kind of soothing i'd say like morning glory and death at dusk they are very very much aesthetically pleasing if that makes any sense and there's also the fact that blizzardy storm themes with like half the cosmetics in the game um like you know slope scopers cold killer uh, those are just some examples. I'm not going to go too deeply into it because I don't want to run this video into 50 minutes. But yeah, uh, Stormy Storm Dapper Topper is going for just 36 keys, and Blizzard Storm Dapper Topper going for just 40, which is just it's it's really good. It's it's really good. I'm not gonna lie. All right. And now, at number 3, we have Circling Peace Sign. An absolutely majestic effect with the pink trail and the yellow peace sign looking very soothing and pleasing to the eye. Averaging at just under 49 keys and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. The whole thing about the peace sign, it's, it can be very very much appealing to a standard TF2 player that can be sometimes friendly even you know with the peace sign going around you know just showing everyone hey I don't really want to kill you for now at least and uh, circling peace sign it, it's 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 a very very subtle and very, very much nice looking effect that I think everyone can appreciate is good looking and it's also first gen so we're going to be signed Dr. Zappetop are going for just 44 keys, which is really good, if I do say so myself. And at number 2 spot, for the second most underrated and usual effect, we have... Drumroll, please. Okay, you probably don't hear the drumroll because I'm too lazy to edit it in. But anyway, at number 2 we have Disco Beatdown. What? Disco Beatdown not being at number one? Okay, okay, I hear you already saying that and typing that in the comments. Don't worry, number one will make a lot of sense. Just, just, just please, just please wait. Okay. We can all agree that Disco Beatdown is among one of the best unusual effects in the game. I, every, everyone can understand why because it's a very, very much. I don't know. There's something about it that's just so satisfying to look at. It, and a lot of people are really undervaluing the effect just because it's third gen, but it is one of those three third gens that j that just you know would be considered god tier if they weren't third gen. Well, not necessarily god tier, but very much high tier if I do say so myself. This could be the modus pile of had going for just 85 keys should tell you how damn good it is. And before we go in the number one spot, I'd like to give a few honorable mentions to some of the other effects that are really underrated in my opinion, but just aren't as good to be included in the video. Here they are. And at number one spot we have Miami Nights. Miami Nights is probably one of my favorite effects in the game as it stands because it it just it just gives you that sort of celebrity feel when you wear a hat with Miami Nights with all those lights shining away from your hat and with them just going left and right all over the place is is absolutely beautiful and with the fact that it's valued at just 30.91 keys on average on backpack.tf it just it really boggles my mind why some people don't like the effects mostly 
because of the stigma against third gen effects but just for under 31 keys on average like you can get an absolutely amazing effect and that's the definition of underappreciated and underrated Mammy Nights Dr. Zappa Topper going for just 35 keys well anyways guys that's it for this video for today I hope you guys have enjoyed it um, also also as a little bit of a note I will now include straw poll links in the description of those videos so you guys can vote and tell me which videos you would like to view more so yeah please vote on the straw poll that is currently in the description and I will take that into consideration when making the next video. Don't expect an explicit release date because um, I'm very, very, very bad at scheduling myself. Yeah. Thank everyone so much for watching. That was Zephy with you. Peace out.